pi. And the reason that I said it's separable is that I'm going to want to take that addition inside of the exponent and think about that as multiplication between two things. That's e to the 3x times e to the 4y. Now I can separate by dividing my y term over. So I have 1 over e to the 4y dy is equal to e to the 3x dx. Looking to integrate both sides, on this one, it's going to be easier for us if I think about that e to the 4y in the denominator really as an e to the negative 4y. Then I'm going to be able to use our general antiderivative rule on both sides for something that looks like e to a constant times x. So my antiderivative here is going to be e to the 3x dividing by that 3 to account for the chain rule that happens when we take the derivative. Over here on this side, I end up with e to the negative 4y divided by negative 4. And that is all going to be equal to a constant. This one wouldn't be too bad to solve for y or to solve for x. Again, in terms of time constraints on a final exam, I would probably quit there um, just to make sure that I had time to work through other problems.